welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Agatha Christie's Birth. In the genre of detective stories, there is a famous writer whose stories have been loved by many people for a very long time. Her stories have tricky plots, interesting characters, and amazing storytelling. This writer is Agatha Christie, and people often call her the Queen of Mystery. She is very famous in the world of books. Her stories not only changed how we think about detective stories, but also made a big impact on all of literature. Agatha Christie was born on this day 15th of September, 1890, in a place called Torquay in England. When she was young, she really liked telling stories and she started writing when she was not very old. Her first book, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, came out in 1920. This book introduced her famous detective, Hercule Poirot, After that, she wrote more books, including Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile. These books made her very well known as a mystery writer. Agatha Christie had an interesting life too. In 1926, she disappeared for 11 days and a lot of people were looking for her all over the country. This made her even more mysterious. She wrote a lot of books, 66 detective stories in total, and wrote 14 books with short stories. She also wrote the world's longest running play called The Mousetrap. People love Agatha Christie's stories because she tells them in a special way. Her stories are like puzzles that you can try to solve while you read. She pays a lot of attention to small details and sometimes she tricks you so you can't guess the ending. What's also special is that her stories are not just about solving crimes. She also looks at how people think and act, which makes her stories interesting for different reasons. 
Some of her characters are famous too. Hercule Poirot is one of them. He's very neat and smart. Another one is Miss Marple, who is good at figuring out what people are really like. Even after many years, people still like these characters. Agatha Christie's books also talk about things that are happening in society, such as how people are divided by their class or gender. She also talks about what life was like after the World Wars in Britain. In one of her books, Murder on the Orient Express, she thinks about what's right and wrong when it comes to justice and revenge. Agatha Christie's stories are very popular. Her books have been translated into more than 100 languages, so people all over the world can read them. Her stories became movies, TV shows and plays, so even more people can enjoy them. Her play, The Mousetrap, has been running in London's West End since 1952, which shows how much people still like her stories. Agatha Christie is a very famous and important writer, and her books continue to be loved by many people. Her stories are like timeless puzzles that people still enjoy solving, and her characters and ideas about society keep her books interesting even today. We can only admire the incredible impact of Agatha Christie, the mysterious genius of storytelling. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms. And let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.